Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can program a boolean expression with the help of an LUT. So you can program any boolean expression with the help of LUT. First of all you need to go to the language templates and you need to search here LUT. When you will search here LUT you will get different types of languages uh, which are present here in the FPGA board which support the LUT. So since we are showing you in the Verilog one, you go to the Verilog section and you choose the type number of uh, LUT which you want like 2 input LUT, 3 input LUT. So the number of LUT will de uh, define that the Boolean expression has how many variables. So for example if you want to like program an AND gate there are only 2 input LUTs, uh, 2 inputs there are there. So you can use it 2 input LUT. So I will show you a basic program of an AND gate how you can sh sh uh, use the AND gate with the help of an LUT. So auto selecting 2 input LUT this code will open. So if I want to select 3 input LUT this code will open. So this is my interest. I choose a 3 input LUT. Now I need to copy this code and I need to paste in the source file. Now there are many things which I need to add before I can program this. So first of all as a basic Verilog code I need to add a module and the input and the outputs. So first module and the module name and the, uh, I am taking the output as S and the input as A comma B. Okay. Now I need to mention what is my input and what is my output. My output is S and my input is A comma B. Okay, now the next thing is very important thing. I need to declare here what is my output variable. So I need to erase this and I need to write here as and the input variable one as A and the other as B. Now the next thing is I have to go to the truth table. Now for example if I want to realize an AND gate. So for that I need to uh, have the so as you can see in the truth table of an AND gate the output is uh, 0, 0, 0, 0001. So I need to start from the bottom and that my output is like 1 triple zero. If I start from the bottom now this binary number I need to convert into the hex so if I convert into the hex code it will become as 8 so now next step is that I need to go to my Verilog code and I need to type here what number I need to uh, I got after converting the binary number into the hexadecimal I got as 8 I need to write here 8 and at last I need to and this module now this is a very log code of a and get using LUT and module I will show you the working using the simulation part so next part is the simulation now the simulation is running I will show you how you can verify the functionality of the AND gate. So since I have not written the touch bench, I need to force clock the inputs. So I can give like two binary inputs. 0, 1, this is for 20 nanoseconds and the other one is for 40 nanoseconds. The B1. Force clock 0, 1 and this is for 40 nanoseconds. Now if I am running it, I will show you the functionality, see, as you can see, this is my output, see when both the inputs, if any one input is 1, then the output is 0, see 0 1, the output is 0, or 1 0, the output is also 0, but when both the inputs are 1, as in this case, like 1 1, the output is 1, that is the functionality of an AND gate. Now similarly you can implement any gate using this LUT like because all the gates have only two inputs similarly you can also like implement any boolean expression with the number of variables and the number of LUTs which we are required for example if I want to like so if we want to implement an OR gate we have to start from the bottom so again it will be like triple one zero and triple one zero if we convert into the hex it will form as E now you need to change the value of 8 into E for example 
if we go to this Verilog code just change this value of 8 to E and save it and you will absorb that when I run the simulation the functionality of the OR gate can be seen I will show you just wait 2 seconds so I need to uh, like force clock the input because I have not written the test bench so that's not a problem 20 and this is for the 40 nanos now I will show you the implementation of a OR gate using this LUT force clock binary 0 1 and it is like 40 nanoseconds and run it so we all know that in the OR gate it is always one when any one of the input is one so you can see this in the waveform so when both the inputs are zero the output is zero when any one input is one the output is one see here A is one the output is one and here B is one the output is one when both are one the output is one so you can see I have a simply implemented uh, OR gate using a LUT so you can like implement any boolean expression using uh, which is of two variable using two input LUT now if you increase the number of LUT the advantage you will get is the number of boolean expression uh, variables are increased for example if I have like uh, uh, like a boolean expression like uh, like a 6 input boolean expression which has A, B, C, D, E, F now I have 6 input now what is the boolean expression for that for example if I have like A, B plus B, C plus D, E bar plus F now this is the boolean expression I want to implement using the LUT so first thing is that I need to make a two table for this boolean expression now according to two table after making the two table the output I have to start from the bottom and convert this binary number into the hex number so whatever hex number I will get I will put in the code so since it is a two input LUT I can also uh, like uh, from here uh, from the language template I can also see the six input LUT template and I can put my value of the hex whatever uh, two table value I am getting if I start from the bottom here here and then I can implement it using a single LUT so 